what's up guys welcome back to another video hopefully you guys are having an amazing day i'm gonna be everywhere today today i'm taking the my four red year mastics the male and three females up to menifee to my buddy's house and he will be taking on that hopefully hopeful breeding project but here i get to do cement work finally i got the cement rod there i got some knee pads I got that one thing that you go like this and you carve the cement. I don't know nothing about cement, so bear with me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start this side and probably that side and kind of just work my way towards the front. But I wanna get that back piece, bless you, get that back piece uh, kind of like solidified and figure it out and everything so that I can see how much cement I'm gonna need or how much I don't need because that's a 90 pound bag and we'll see how much <clears throat> how much of this will actually cover. So welcome back to the videos and let's have some fun. So that one bag didn't last as well. I knew it was gonna last the whole thing, but I wanted to see how much I could get out of it. Only got to do the back section right here. But I still need to cement there and a little bit over there. But then when it come down this way, this spot right here will be open so that when it rains, it can still drain through the soil and not just get flooded with all the cement at the bottom. But all of this is gonna get cemented. And then the open spot there. And the same thing over here, cement, all of that. And then this middle spot will be open and from the looks of it so that's one bag one two three four ish I'll probably buy like 10 bags just to be on the safe side because then after i cement all of this where those pavers are at i'm probably going to build another small enclosure and then cement the bottom of that but that's later down the line but i'd rather have the cement you know here rather than me having to go buy it but that's all I guess. I, that's guess that's all I gotta do today, here at least. Now I'm gonna go gather up all the Euromastics, uh, all their seeds, all their lentils, all their calciums, and everything like that. Package them up, and then eat some breakfast. Drive to Menifee, drop them off, and then I guess we'll see what else I'm getting into today. Cause I don't really have anything planned. I got a, what you call it? I can see that. But I've got a bone graft cause my temporary screw in the tooth. Yeah, it didn't hold. It got shot at my body. My body's like, I don't know what this is. I don't like it. So now I got a bone graft. So. Yep, that's a little piece of information for you guys. Now I'm gonna go eat breakfast, pack up the euros, and then I'll see what happens next. Also gotta do the morning task for the turtles. Make sure everybody gets their, their water. Hello, tiny man, would you like some water? Hello. And also spraying this enclosure allows certain bugs that I've put in here to kind of come up when the water starts to get sprayed and then when they come up the box turtles get to eat we're probably giving them some pellet diet today too and then gotta spray all the turtle ponds because i just planted some plants in theirs it's like this mossy succulent kind of thing got that close 
and got to fill up the tortoise water bowls. And perfect. I got theirs. Okie dokie. Now we're going upstairs. So, we got the collection bin for the Euros. All their food. All their lentils and seeds and everything. And fuck it, I'm going to dig out all their substrate with. Because I'm going to slowly start get rid of all of the substrate. Because I'm going to use this for, probably for baby box turtles in the near future. So this is going to go into the shed. Those pavers. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. But for right now, I'm just going to carefully take out all the substrate. And then piece by piece by piece, I'll take each of your mastics out and each brick out. And then we'll be heading up to Menifee. And my mom just came from that direction. And she said there's cops everywhere. So I got to drive very, very slowly. Oh, yeah. So... I'm gonna start breaking this down and getting stuff going. Last time I'm putting my hands on my euros. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, big boy. I will miss you. But you're going to a good home. I'm probably going to have to use two hands to make sure they can get in there without them getting out and behind. So, yeah, I got to... Come here, Mama. Hey. Hey, big Mama. Okay, dope. Camera down, double hands on. So the Euros are out of the 4x2x2. Two two two. And into the travel bin. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to wrap this side and this side with duct tape. Because if I can barely do this, or barely touch it, pop it off. All four of them put you on the same side. Definitely they're going to get out. So I'm going to tape and tape. And then finish breaking that down and get that into the shed. And yeah. That is going to be it. So this enclosure will be in the shed until we have some baby three to box turtles pop it out. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, hit the bell notification, comment something down below, share this with all your friends, and I'll see you next week for the submit in the monitor enclosure. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for all the support. See you later. Peace.